Today, we're making an incredible Chinese restaurant style beef in black bean sauce. And I'm gonna share with you the secrets to get your beef incredibly tender and how to make your own black bean sauce from scratch. And it'll absolutely blow those jars of black bean sauce out of the water. So let's get cooking. We're gonna start by making the black bean sauce. To make the black bean sauce, we're gonna be using fermented black beans. They're also sometimes known as salted black soybeans. Now you can buy these in some larger supermarkets, but you're probably more likely to find them in an Asian supermarket or on Amazon. Now don't be afraid of using this slightly unusual ingredient. They keep for ages and you can also make the sauce ahead. We're gonna start by soaking the fermented black beans. So place four tablespoons of the black beans in a bowl and cover with cold water. Leave them to soak for about an hour. Now onto the beef. I've got 400 grams, which is about 14 ounces of rump steak here. And that's been cut into thin strips against the grain and we're going to velvet the beef. Now the process of velveting is often used in Chinese cookery and it's basically about tenderizing the meat. So it's really good for using on cheaper cuts of meat that are usually a little bit more tough. Now there are lots of different ways of tendering meat and for this method we're going to be using bicarbonate of soda. Bicarb is an alkaline and that changes the proteins in the meat which makes the meat more tender when it comes to cooking it. Sprinkle one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda or baking soda onto the beef and then rub it into the beef so it's thoroughly coated. Cover the beef and place in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, remove the beef from the fridge and give it a good rinse to remove that bicarb. and then you're gonna pat it dry on some kitchen towels. Now place it in a bowl, and that's the velvet beef ready to use. So that beef is now tenderized and ready to go. I wouldn't recommend leaving it for any longer than about 30 minutes in that bicarb, otherwise it can cause the meat to go mushy. Okay, we're just going to put that to one side for a minute and we're going to come back to the black bean sauce. Then we want to rinse them really well to remove that saltiness and drain. Once drained, give the black beans a bit of a mash with the back of a fork. I like to mash up about three quarters and leave the rest whole. Now add in a tablespoon each of sesame oil and neutral oil to a small saucepan and heat over a medium heat. Add in three cloves of minced garlic, one tablespoon of minced ginger and those black beans and fry for one minute, stirring often until fragrant. Now add in two tablespoons of Chinese rice wine, two tablespoons of dark soy sauce, one teaspoon of rice vinegar, two teaspoons of granulated or caster sugar, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, and 180 ml or three quarters of a cup of chicken or vegetable stock. Stir together and bring to the boil. Then simmer for about five minutes until slightly reduced and thickened. Now we want to thicken that sauce a little bit more. So I've made up a cornstarch slurry of one tablespoon of corn flour mixed with three tablespoons of cold water. Stir half of that corn flour slurry into the sauce to thicken. And then you can add a little bit more if you need it and turn off the heat. Okay, so that's the black bean sauce done. That beef is velveted. Let's pull this delicious beef and black bean sauce together. Sprinkle a pinch of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper over the beef and stir it all together. Now 
Now into a large wok, we're going to add a tablespoon of sesame oil and a tablespoon of neutral oil and heat it over a high heat. Add the beef and fry, stirring often for about two to three minutes until the beef is just cooked. Now we're going to add in an onion and a red and green bell pepper that have been roughly chopped and fry for a further two to three minutes until just slightly softened. Now add in that delicious black bean sauce that we made earlier and fry, stirring often for about one to two minutes until that sauce is thoroughly heated through. And that's it, we're done. We're going to serve it over some fluffy boiled rice and top with some chopped spring onions and sesame seeds. Now, if you love making stir fry, then try this one next. I'll see you over there. Time to tuck in. Mm. Mm hmm. <laughs>